first I thought she was dead. She was laying, not moving, or basically anything, just like that. Well, this cougar attacked a nine-year-old girl over the weekend. It was killed by people who rescued the young victim. While the attack did cause significant injuries, the young girl is alive and recovering at Sacred Heart this evening. Her family says today is the first day she's been awake since the attack. It happened on Saturday morning at a camp in Stevens County near Fruitland, Washington. Esther Bauer spoke exclusively with someone who helped rescue her and shows us how it unfolded. A weekend getaway quickly took a turn for the worst right here in Fruitland. People found a young girl on this hill attacked by a cougar fighting for her life. It's going to be in, in my mind and my heart forever. First Ivan Zook will never forget what he saw up the hill from this campsite. So when I got here, she was under the tree. I thought she was dead because she's hauling blood and everything covered in blood, basically. Three friends had wandered up a trail, but only two made it back down. Lily was attacked by a cougar before being rescued by Ivan and others, and then airlifted to Sacred Heart. I hope she's gonna be all right. Her family says she is, quote, doing great and is in stable condition this evening. While our natural landscape is full of all kinds of wildlife, experts say this kind of cougar attack is extremely okay. rare. In the past 100 years, we've had two fatal attacks on humans in Washington state. Lily did everything right by fighting for her life. Uh, in this incident, this little girl did nothing wrong, and it just happened so quickly that there's nothing that she could have done to prevent it. If you ever find yourself in a similar situation, try not to panic. Do not turn, don't take your eyes off the animal, don't run. Yell at the animal, make yourself look bigger than it is, and if it attacks... Fight back as hard as you can and try to stay on your feet. Lily may be off her feet for a bit as she recovers, but she says she's brave and will come back even stronger than before. And head on over to KXLY.com to see how you can support Lily on her road to recovery. Reporting near Fruitland, Washington tonight, Esther Bauer, 4 News Now.